what's up guys welcome back to the channel for another video so in today's video i'm gonna be baking a cake but it's not just any cake it's a um jamaican wine cake christmas cake but i'm gonna be doing something different i like a twist in mine i'm going to be using traditional box cake to make mine okay guys so stay tuned to see how i do it and how it turn out okay yep so guys here's what i'll be using my mixed spice baking powder vanilla um browning and of course i blend up my razor prune and mixed fruits with the wine and egg of course and a little lime juice and with the and some oil and the box cake okay guys yes so those are all the ingredients i'm going to be using to make my wine cake okay yes so stay tuned the lumps are out of it you can use a mixer but i just love to use my wooden spoon whenever i am baking i use mixer but i just prefer the wooden spoon okay guys yes i'm just carrying everything and beating it and make sure that it does smooth and no lumps goes in there So now I'm going to be putting in some oil. This is about two tablespoons that I use. Yes, about two tablespoons. Oil that I use. So I'm just mixing it out. And then putting the butter on the and start mixing the oil in there. Okay, now then I'm going to be putting in my Thank you. 
you want to make sure everything is even out inside of the butter. Now I'm adding my browning to the mixture. Okay, I have they said you can add as much or as little browning as you like. It all depends on how you want the color of your cake to turn out. If you want it too dark or you want it light brown or just the color that you like okay yeah but I did went back and add a little bit more browning inside of my mixture okay because it was looking a little light color to me that's a taste test that I'm doing to make sure everything is tasting right yeah and I was really surprised to how good it turned out oh nice the cake tasted okay guys yes just like it's like when you do the cake the original way okay it turned out just perfectly okay if your butter seems too thin you can go ahead and add a little flour in there i did add a little flour in mine off camera because of the word i was feeling and i was thinking to myself that it was a little um thin and i did um, forget to put my mixed spice in there and I went ahead and put the mixed spice in there okay guys yes don't forget to mix spice so I had my mixed spice the butter as well and a little bit more flour and a little bit more browning because my cake was looking too light and I want it to be a little bit more dark yes so the mixture was exactly how I wanted it okay yes so like I said, if it's looking to the ear, I'm adding in the mixed spice, yeah. I didn't realize I catch that in camera. Okay, yeah, so I'm adding in the mixed spice, like I said, in there, because I forgot. Okay, guys, yes. So, um, I'm going to be spraying uh, my pan with a non-stick cooking spray. That's what... I use it to spray my pan. Now I'm just adding in the butter. Okay, guys. Yes, you know, eat a little shake, shake. Make sure everything level down good on the bottom. All right, guys. Yes. So I thought it would only make one cable. Just a little bit more. So I just use two pans. Okay. Yeah. There you have it guys, just like it turned out just perfect, turned out just right and as usual you can add more wine to it if you choose to or rum if you choose to but I didn't add any more wine or any rum to it because I know the kids them will be having the cake, okay yes. so now I am gonna be putting in the cake in the oven. guys as you can see that the cake turned out perfectly and not only did it turn out perfectly but it was delicious it was good guys if you don't have time and you want to bake your wine cake your Christmas cake you could just do exactly what I just did and it turned out simply perfect Definitely what should try. you give a red? Okay, guys, yes, so no, 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 no,